Good morning. Yeah. We look so fucking rough, but it's Taylor Day. We are beginning the day by going to get tattoos. Oh, I got a different tattoo. It's my first tattoo. Cause I always wanted my first tattoo to be a Taylor tattoo. So we're going to get tattoos. Taylor's not, but we're going to get tattoos. Taylor's emotional support. Happy Taylor Day. We got coffee and we are now at. Look how cute this is. Yeah, no, for real. Like, it's barista coffee. They it's made it there. Barista fresh but it's, coffee, but it's, it's in a cup. It's in like a little can. We are at Fine Line Studios. Tattoos. Fine Line Tattoos. Fine Line Tattoos. Which is where we're getting the tattoos. <laughs> And they're always the wrong size. So they're either for like a tiny child or like won't fit anyone. Oh, I think that's so cute. Do you think that's cute? Do you yes. think that's cute? I think it's cute. I think it's heavy. <coughs> You're dying. Hold on, I'm trying to get content, but you keep moving. I think that's cute. Cute. You did really well. Great job. That was like so comfortable. Cute. Gorgeous. I really like it. There we go. The vlog. It looks so good. It does. Show? And I've forgotten to vlog anything else all morning besides getting tattoos, but you know, getting ready for the tour. This is my, my room is a mess, but this is my night one outfit because it is February 16th. I don't entirely believe it, but the fandom is clowning about rap tonight. So I had to do my reputation outfit just in case anything happens. I don't think it will, but just in case. Oh, let's so much. Thank you for having us here. I feel so lucky. I feel lucky to be in her presence. I feel even more lucky to be in every single person here's presence. I want to say hi to as many people as I can very fast. Hey guys. Um, Australians are so hot. What the heck? You know what I mean? You guys just have something in your water? I don't know. You're so attractive. Hey! <laughs> My name is Sabrina. It's very nice to meet you. Sing some songs for you. So I'm not sure if you guys are down to hear more, but you don't really have a choice. So I'm gonna sing some more songs. Um, um, and for anyone right now who's in a situation ship, this one's for you. This is so special. I really love it here already. I know I've been here like five minutes, but uh, slowing down and like taking the room in and reflecting has always been really thing for me. There's a story about this next one I'm going to sing for you and it was this one night where I was in the middle of a park and I was on a seesaw with someone I really cared about. We both got a tornado warning on our phone at the same time. It taught me to slow down and look for the signs because the signs guide you where to go next. This is tornado warning. We were never in the park talking on a seesaw team with us. So if you do, 
really want you to sing along at the top of your lungs for me, okay? Yes, my dipping in and out of your accent yet. There, there's this song that I have and the chorus is like, I'm a home wrecker, I'm a slut, but I think in the accent would be like, I'm like a home wrecker, I'm a slut, or how do you say it? I'm going to sing along. So even if you don't know the song, now you know the chorus. Um, and feel free to sing this song with me. Um, it's called Because I Like the Boy. <laughs>
Albert, just look at you, look at you. I... I'm just taking, I'm just taking a mental picture for myself. Just for any, any time that I'm sad. Just a few songs and you are already making me feel phenomenal. <laughs> Extremely powerful. I mean, you're making me feel like I get to play a show for 96,000 beautiful people and no one can I guess what I'm trying to say is you're making me feel like I'm the man. I am overjoyed to get to say these words to you right now. Melbourne, welcome to the Eras Tour! Like I am losing my mind over the fact that there are 96,000 people here tonight. It's because it's true. I, this is the biggest show that we have done on this tour or any tour. about the memories that we made tonight in Melbourne on a Friday night. My name is Taylor, I'll be your host for this evening. Thank you for joining us here on the Eras Tour.
and I'm so happy to see you. I wanted everyone to feel like um, like we made the show for you, whether uh, whether you're new here or you, you've been hanging out with me for like 15 years. <laughs> see, I put out a lot of um, albums recently, to put it. Uh, with this sort of like um, overload of albums. Cause you know how I used to do things is I'd go, I'd make the Red album, I'd do the Red tour. I'd uh, do the 1989 tour when I had the 1989 album. You see the, uh, the issue that you run into when you put out like five albums in a couple of years is um, uh, you kind of have to think outside the box. And so I came up with this idea called the Eras tour.
Good morning, I feel like death, but you've already seen me without makeup in this video itself, so fuck it, you're gonna see it again. Last night was night one of the Aeros Tour Melbourne. I didn't film as much as I wanted to just because we ended up getting to the stadium far later than we had planned because we had some public transport issues and it was very stressful and so I just kind of didn't feel like documenting it because I was on the verge of an anxiety attack pretty much up until we like got to the stadium. But last night was one of the best nights of my life. I will have plenty of footage from the concert that you would have seen. Getting to share a moment like that with two of my best friends in the world from various different places of my life. Luba and I became really, really close during like the worst kind of period of my life. And Taylor's music is what really bonded us together and what really helped both of us get through it. And the idea of seeing her together one day was what really saved our lives both of us for a long time and taylor is has been my best friend since i was six and lived through so many taylor album releases together we've gone to previous tours together you know when i went to the red tour i bought a shirt for her like we go so far back and we have so many memories tied to taylor swift together and so to share that moment with both of them when seeing the Aeros tour was the most incredible thing. I am so dead today because we woke up so early to get tattoos and then get ready and then have the show. And I was so emotional during it. And then we ended up going to an after party for a little moment afterwards as well to kind of just wait out time for Uber prices to go down before we went home. So I'm very exhausted, but I just wanted to say how incredible of a night it was. I had so many people take photos of me and with me, I got interviewed by a couple of different like content creators and brands. It was just the, the most fun night of my life. Um, I'm doing a much more low-key outfit for the second night tonight, but I'm just so excited to see the show again and to be in everyone's presence and to have another incredible, unbelievable night. I always love the moment in makeup, like right before you put on a bright colored lipstick and you just look like a ghost. I wanted to document that today. I am doing Nice Skin 9 Cheerleader Taylor tonight for a slightly easier costume, so trying to recreate her music her makeup from the music video for that so it's pretty neutral eyes pretty standard with a little pop of blue right on the corners i'm gonna put on some ruby woo uh because that feels like the quintessential like 1989 red i was wearing like a fenty lipstick last night which was amazing i bought it specifically for the tour because it's like a lip stain as opposed to just normal lipstick and it stayed perfectly the entire night i didn't even have to reapply it it was insane so recommend that it's pretty pricey but it was worth it i don't usually buy really expensive makeup like the first time i ever bought ruby woo was for the 1999 tour they're kind of worth it sometimes that one i really recommend but tonight we're doing ruby woo because that was very quintessentially 1999 that and dragon girl by nars but i don't own that i never have i just know that she wore it a lot during 1999 but i also know that she wore Ruby wear a lot during 1999 and I have that one so we're doing that. I am officially dressed and ready to go. We are in my little shake it off cheerleader outfit. We have the hair done. I just need to add ribbons to it but I'm gonna ask my friends to help me with that. I look super pale and a little bit dead but that's fine. That's just what I look like. Look at my tattoo. There is something incredibly special about getting your first tattoo for a Taylor Swift song that means the entire world to you and then hearing that song live for the first time in person that night. Cannot describe that feeling. The cool thing about this costume as well is this was actually my like dream 1989 costume when I was a child, when I was like 13, 14, leading up to the 1989 tour, but I didn't wear it because I was like 14 and way too insecure about my body. Um, and I just didn't feel comfortable wearing it, but this was the outfit that I really, really wanted to wear. And so even though it's a little like basic and simple and you know, no effort went into this, I bought it off the internet. It's just really kind of cool and a little full circle moment to kind of be an adult and be comfortable enough in my body. I obviously still have body issues, but comfortable enough in my body that I can wear this and feel okay in it. I kind of dedicate it to 14 year old Ashley who was at the like beginning of her body struggles. <laughs> Emily made space for me. Thank you, Queen. 
Let me just put her things. <laughs> I'm going backwards. I get to have the action. We're on our way. Ah. What 1989 outfit do we think we're gonna get tonight? I think green. I want green. Green's my favorite. Statistically, probably, but like. Statistically, definitely. Lua is literally sewing her costume on the way, like a mad woman. <laughs> Do, do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? I made a pun. I made a pun. Yeah, 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 that was pretty good. Thank you. Kind of impressive though. Just is that the loveliest person who watched my TikTok lives. I had another weird interaction with a child. Yeah. The child came up to me and was like, do you want to trade bracelets? And I was like, of course I do. And he goes, <laughs> trade for a glow in the dark bracelet and I was like you have a glow in the dark bracelet and he was like no you do and I was like no I don't and he was like oh. what the and we didn't trade bracelets <laughs>
like a contest winner. Like I won a contest to get to have this memory of looking at you and singing with you. I'm having a very strange experience in my head because um, I don't know if you know how many 96,000 is. It is. If we were to start counting, we just we'd never get there. I am so grateful to you for wanting to spend this time with us. And just the passion I'm feeling from you already tonight, I promise you, we are gonna give you absolutely everything that we have. So generous of you. Thank you so much, Margaret. This crowd is very, very special, and I've known that since before I got on stage, because I always have little spies out in the audience <laughs> telling me what's up. And um, I've gotten lots of reports of you guys being extremely kind and wonderful to each other, trading friendship bracelets. to the stage that these were some of the best costumes anyone had seen on the entire tour in the crowd. Outfits, the level of detail, we have craftsmanship happening out there, and um, you know, it's the coolest feeling in the world to think that, um, that maybe people made friends tonight or met tonight who wouldn't have met otherwise, and you met at our show, and, and that makes me really happy. You guys are a great group of people, and um, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of how you treat each other, and how you help each other, and how you welcome each other, make each other feel special and seen, and um, just wanted to say that because I have a lot of feelings in this current moment. Or you could call it Tortured Poets if you just refuse to memorize more than one of the album titles. I'm so excited about that, by the way. April 19th is going to be a very fun day for us, a very exciting day.
deciding that 96,000 of you wanted to come and hang out and dance and sing. And sing. one that they really want to hear and I think I'm I think I might have achieved it you have to let me know um I really just want you to um, be happy because you're making me really happy so I figured you might want to hear this one let me know though no nothing good stops me
We're on the fucking floor tonight. This is fine. It's like crazy windy down here though. I don't know if it's the day or if it's worse on the I'm floor. I'm telling you it's the day. I feel like it might just also be worse on the floor though. Because you would feel the wind up there. Yeah. yeah. I want to talk about the fact that I made a friendship bracelet data for this costume. Mm. That was me trying to be creative with this. Walking on a sea salt here with our feelings in the dark. Ignoring tornado warning. He didn't hold me in his arms. We didn't stumble over the pages of our relationship. Ignoring tornado warning. Don't understand how quickly we get right back in our rhythm with sounds. song where the chorus is a little uh, it's a little intense but I, I, I was really excited to hear Australians sing it because it's like I'm a homewrecker I'm a slut and it's called Because I Like the Boy so if you know the song please sing along and if not I think you'll, you'll get the hang of it it was all so Here we are, this is our last night playing in Melbourne. So, 
I don't know, I don't know what you think that means. If you think we're tired by now or something like that, but actually, the last night in Melbourne means we are going to give you absolutely everything that we have and more tonight. Is that okay? Based on how nice you've been to us. 96,000 people the first night, 96,000 people the second night, 96,000 people uh, tonight. All of that is, is, those are all the biggest shows I've ever played on a tour, and you did it three times. The math is that it's 288,000 people in three nights. Melbourne, you are the love of my life. I cannot believe you. for someone and make them feel welcome like that just absolutely every single last one of you and I want you to know that like there's a level of detail right when we when we start out the show in in the light like I can see absolutely everyone everything you're doing in every costume and and that's one of the reasons why we have I don't know if you've noticed you have a light up bracelet on yes Woo! I'm still gonna be able to see you, which makes me incredibly happy. You are on a level that I have not known before, this crowd, what you're doing. Every single category, you guys. We've got like a level of costume design that is intricate, exquisite, well planned out, um, and fully committed. I've seen commitment in the costume design department of this crowd, probably like unparalleled to anything I have ever seen before in my life. So you look good. You are, you are dancing um, on a level, I don't know how you're gonna keep it up all night, but I'm excited to see you try. Um, and, and you are so loud. <laughs> Like the crowd that you saw in your childhood bedroom when you were like, I want to be a singer. Um, this is the kind of crowd you see. And um, anytime I get the opportunity to play for and with a crowd like this, um, I just feel like, you know, it's important to tell you how I feel, when I feel it, not just uh, hide it from you to be cool. So. Um, I'm obsessed with you, I love you, thank you for coming. I can't believe that I get to hang out with you today. Oh, my God. 
Such a, such a special place in my heart, this album, because um, it was it was an album I started two, like two days into the pandemic. It was like, I immediately knew I was gonna need like an escape in my imagination. Um, and you know, I think that led to me sort of changing things up a little bit. And I wanna say like, changing things up has been what has uh, kept things so exciting and fun and spicy in my career for me. So thank you for allowing me to do that. I don't know if I would have uh, made folklore or made some of the switches that I've made if you weren't so welcoming of, um, of change and new things. And um, I love it. So with folklore, one of the things that I changed up was kind of my songwriting style because you know, I've always um, told stories, but it's usually my own stories. It's usually like, you know, Dear Diary Today, I had a feeling for five seconds, here's a song about it, um, which has gotten me through a lot in my life and has been sort of a coping mechanism for me um, since I was about 12. But with folklore, it was really fun, it turned out, to sort of like create fiction in a way. And I can see it's just in a bed sheet All you slipped away like a bottle of wine Cause you were never mine In, in the Eras tour because I initially thought of the idea because I really wanted to challenge myself to, to, to play as many songs from my catalog, my discography, like as possible, you know? And so basically, when I started the tour in, um, in the US, I made up this rule where I was like, I'm not allowed to ever play a song twice on the tour. Um, and that was to challenge me to 
like really get to all the ones that I just don't naturally gravitate towards. And I feel really proud about having done that, but this is sort of like a public service announcement to everyone who might be like, anywhere else on the tour or whatever, like, or, or watching this. We have a lot of people, we're very lucky to have a lot of people that like watch this on the internet and care about these shows even if they're not here. Um, I've just been kind of like rethinking, and I've been thinking like, I want to be as creative as possible with the acoustic set um, moving forward, and like, I don't want to limit anything, and I don't want to just say like, oh, if I played a song before, I can't play it again. So from now on, I'm just gonna like, I don't want to take any, colors out of the out of the paint box of colors. I don't want to take any tools or a toolbox. What's the metaphor I'm looking for? I want to be able to play songs more than once if I feel like it and I want to be able to make changes to songs.
everything Ashley here. I originally was going to put my entire Aerostore vlog in one singular video for all of you to enjoy. However, I've just finished editing the Melbourne portion and I think it'll be too long to do that. So we're instead going to cut the video here. We're going to have a Melbourne video and a Sydney video. So thank you very much for watching the Melbourne portion of this video. I will have the Sydney one up hopefully in a week for you all. Thank you for watching and following along with my little Aerostore tour journey, AKA the best week of my life. If you would like to see more of me, you can subscribe here. I do tales of videos quite often or I do movie commentary or book related videos. I'm a cosplayer. You can follow me on Instagram or TikTok for all of that. Or you can support me over on Patreon and passes for a bunch of bonus content at your leisure. I love you. Thank you for being here. Mwah.